Chieftain. Great gun depression. Great turret armor. Typical British tank. BB gun. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but this game turn goes from a first class to a win real quick like. I mean, look at these guys. We got half the team going to C. We got one guy going to A. And then now we got five guys sitting here looking at each other while these two dudes just sit here and, and I said, you know what, whatever. I was not expecting a win. I figured we got a bunch of high school or uh, middle schoolers on tonight. Let me see what I can do. Just try to get some damage. Maybe if I'm lucky, make a couple credits. I think the key here was that most games, you always meet somebody at a cap, regardless of, that was a lucky shot there, real lucky shot. Good two bounces. <clears throat> that new uh, Japanese TD is pretty solid, and it's got a well, pretty quick reload on that thing, but not as good as mine. Um, but uh, yeah, so I think the reason why we won is because they were expecting that we were all at C, they push A, they left themselves kind of out there in the open. I thought this guy over here was all on the other side of the hill already, but I didn't really realize until I looked over there that he was sitting right here next to me. Oh, look, yep, there he is. Let me uh, put one in him real fast for a little cheap, little cheeky uh, kill right there. Nothing special. That dude, the uh, whole re just died, or Cheeto, or Cheeto SPG, whatever it's called, just died. So we've secured the A hole flank. And I do a little type to everybody. We need to go back the other way with the about face. So hopefully they get the message that means, hey, let's go back over here to where the bad guys are coming in at us and try to doink them in the head instead of doing that stupid circle thing, which the circle thing works sometimes, but not a lot of time because all your mediums lights go 10 times faster than your stupid freaking heavy. So that's this guy. He comes in at me trying to use that not so overpowered IS-6 armor. This guy would have been done a long time ago if I'd have knew how to angle this thing or dangle. I mean, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna bounce too many shots with this thing, but run into a wall, that doesn't help. I'm glad nobody came up like that low behind me. I hope, I'm glad he doesn't come up and shoot me because otherwise this guy wins this battle and we probably lose this game. Not that I saved us or anything, but yeah. That happened. Even though the T-49 snuck in there and I believe finished him off. Or whoever it was that killed him. Yeah, it might have, yeah, it might have, been, it might have been me. I don't know. I was really paying attention. Oh, hit the rock. Gotta get out of his way. He's got a big gun. I don't want to mess with that. Low, not so much of a big gun. I like to go after the, the guys that don't do as much damage. Yeah, they got great DMPM, but if you take them out quick, their DPM means zero. I don't like getting hit for 450, 500, so I try to stay away from like the 152s, VK 100s, Scorpion Gs. Eh, stay away from them guys until I get a, until I know more. That guy just Charlie Browned me. Let's see if I can get a quick one in here. And I bounce off the front of his mantlet. I really don't want to get hit by that guy. I might be a, if he, I think if he high rolls, he might be able to kill me. He gives a little peeky peek at me. I'll shoot him again. I go back up here and I go, oh no, he's reloaded. I gotta get, oh no, 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 no. He's probably trying to APC army there. And then, yeah, now he starts to use his turret to chase people and that's not good for him. He had a better shot at just maybe keep an eyeball on me. Yeah, he died. And the Hellsing will finish off the 152 with a tap, tap, double tap. He didn't need two taps, but he got it. So, yeah, we started off by going crazy and then end up still getting a win. That helps. Anyways, that's all I got. This, what is this thing doing?